Now, the Supreme Court of Kenya is expected to deliver judgment uh, this afternoon on Homa Bay County Governor Cyprian Awiti's election petition seeking to overturn a court of appeal ruling that nullified his election. Vincent Odwar is at the Supreme Court waiting for that ruling that comes up this afternoon. Vincent, good afternoon. Good to see you. A lot of expectation from this ruling. It went to the High Court where Awiti won. It went to the Supreme Court where he lost and then he went, I mean, he went to the Court of Appeal where he lost and now it's at the Supreme Court and uh, there are a lot of people gathering there, a lot of expectation. But tell us briefly the background of this petition and who first took it to court. Absolutely. What I can tell you is that the judgment that the Supreme Court is going to deliver today will determine whether voters of Homer Bay County will be going back to the polls to elect a new governor or not. Remember the petitioner in this case at the Supreme Court is Homer Bay Governor Cyprian Awiti who is seeking to overturn the judgment of the Court of Appeal which nullified his election. Remember that what the Court of Appeal did, it just upheld an earlier judgment of the High Court that also nullified the election of Governor Cyprian Awiti, saying that the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission did not conduct a free and fair election. And remember, the Awiti has been on a, on, a, on, a, on a legal losing trajectory ever since February because his main challenger, who is his main political challenger, who is Oyugi Magua is the one who challenged his victory at the High Court and he won at the High Court. He also again won at the Court of Appeal and now we are waiting to see if here today at the Supreme Court, Magwanga is also going to win again. And what are people waiting really to see is whether you know, somebody can lose a case at the High Court, lose a case at the Court of Appeal and maybe end up winning at the uh, the Supreme Court. These are some of the dynamics that our pundits are waiting to see how it's going to turn out. Just to, to give you a background on what, uh, on what really made the substance of this case at the Supreme Court. You remember when the case was being heard at the Court of Appeal, the lawyers or the lawyer of his, uh, of Awiti's main political opponent, who is Charles Kanjama, was arguing that there was a systemic pattern whereby votes of uh, Oyugi were being reduced by between or by, by the, the votes were being reduced by a margin of between 50 and 100 votes and the same votes were being transferred to Awiti. Kanjama also argued during the hearing at the Court of Appeal that you know most of the ballot boxes did not have official IEBC seals and also they didn't have the counterfoils. And at the same uh, court during the hearing at the Court of Appeal, the lawyers representing Awiti, one of them who is Otiende Amolo and uh, Tomo Gienda, they argued that the court did not take into consideration the report on scrutiny that was uh, done. And they were saying if the Court of Appeal had taken into consideration the report of that scrutiny, which involved recounting of the votes, the, the judgment will have been different. And therefore, these are the dynamics that are, we are waiting to see how they are going to, 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 to occur. Remember, there are reports that the governor, which is in Nairobi, but uh, we haven't yet confirmed. And uh, so far, he has not arrived here at the Supreme Court. What is happening right now is that, uh, you know, a section of uh, supporters of Awiti and the two, the two, the appellants of the petitioners are already here and they are milling around the vicinity of the Supreme Court while others have also camped at the gates of the Supreme Court to basically show their support to their preferred leaders and waiting to know if they are, they, they will be at a by-election at Homer Bay or not. And therefore, in about, uh, in about 50 minutes, we'll be able to know whether Homer Bay County Governor Cyprian Awiti will continue to serve as the governor of the county or not. For now, I'm taking you back to studio. Well, thanks, Vincent, very much. And uh, Joseph uh, Oyugi Magwanga was a former Kasipul member of parliament he was elected to represent that constituency before he ran for governor and uh, incidentally interesting thing about the homer bay county and the cliffy counties that these are the only counties that had uh, the vote voters voting for odm right from the top to the bottom so it will be interesting to see if oyugi magwanga wins this from the supreme court and what will happen because he's not a member of the odm party which took the majority in fact all seats in homer bay county